The T-Rex is known to be one of the most fierce and dangerous killing machines ever to walk the face of the Earth. Weighing between 8 to 14 metric tons, measuring up to 43 feet long and standing about 13 feet high, this gigantic carnivore lived in the Cretaceous period over 65 million years ago and thrived in the regions of what is now North America. But what if I was to tell you there's an even larger and meaner carnivore that you just didn't know about? The dinosaur in question is Giganotosaurus carolini, a fierce and more ancient carnivore than the T-Rex. This creature roamed the Earth approximately 98 to 97 million years ago during the Turonian stage of the late Cretaceous period. It was discovered in the Badlands near Villa El Chocon in the Neogan province of Patagonia, southern Argentina in 1993 by Ruben D. Carolioli. Specialists from the University of Comihue then spent the next year digging and found an almost 70% complete fossil, which paved the way for an even greater understanding of prehistoric theropods. The name Giganotosaurus carolini derives from the ancient Greek words gigas meaning giant, notos meaning south wind, and saurus of course meaning giant lizard, and carolini comes from the man that discovered the creature, Ruben D. Carolioli. So let's compare the two titans. This creature is actually larger than the T-Rex. Whilst that dinosaur ranged up to 43 feet in length with a height of 13 feet, the Giganotosaurus stood at a maximum height of 20 feet or nearly 14 feet to the hip, with a length of 45 feet, weighing from 9 tons all the way up to 14 tons, the same weight as 100 newborn narwhals or 2 to 3 fully grown Antotitan hadrosaurs. So for scale, I'm going to have to give Giganotosaurus 1 point. The Giganotosaurus's bite force isn't as strong as that of the T-Rex, though it does have a bigger skull at 5.2 feet, whilst the Tyrannosaurus's skull measured at 5 feet, which allows Giganotosaurus to swallow larger prey whole or take larger bites, tearing off a greater magnitude of flesh. Inside the jaw are rows of razor-sharp teeth, and inside the Giganotosaurus, each tooth is identical, being flat and wide, like blades, great for cutting through flesh. However, thanks to 30 million years of extra evolution, the Tyrannosaurus rex has a more advanced dental structure, with different types of teeth used for different purposes, much like a human. The front teeth were used for gripping and pulling, the side teeth evolved to tear the flesh, and the back teeth were used for chewing. It's especially terrifying for its bite, which delivered a force of approximately 7 tons of pressure, which is enough to crack bone and even enough to crush a car, which means it has the most powerful bite force of any terrestrial animal in history. So even whilst the size of the Giganotosaurus's jaw is bigger, I'm going to have to give the point to T-Rex for having an impressive bite force that can crush its prey's bone to dust. One point to the T-Rex. The Giganotosaurus has two long, three-fingered talons, which will come in handy in combat to slash at large prey and grip onto them for support. And whilst the T-Rex's arms are surprisingly strong, being twice as powerful than even the strongest of humanity, the Giganotosaurus has more powerful muscles which will be more resilient in combat. So because of the longer and more developed arms of the Giganotosaurus, I'm going to have to give another point to that species. Two points to Giganotosaurus. The speed of motion for Giganotosaurus is also estimated to be slightly higher than that of a T-Rex coming in with a running speed of approximately 31 miles an hour compared to T-Rex's 16 miles an hour, almost half of Giganotosaurus' running speed, making it a more formidable predator when it comes to prey with higher dexterity. Though this theory may be due to the fact that T-Rex has had years more research than that of the Giganotosaurus, so our understanding of the Tyrant King may be greater. Regardless, our current understanding of the animal dictates that it is faster and more responsive than the Tyrannosaur so for that reason I'm going to have to give another point to the Giganotosaurus. Whilst the Giganotosaurus may look like it's coming out on top based on this comparison, let's analyse how they'd stand out in combat in a theoretical scenario where there was no 30 million year time gap between the animals. Let's face off the Tyrannosaurus Rex against the Giganotosaurus. The Giganotosaurus picks up a scent from an animal out of time, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, who takes a step back due to the larger size of the creature. 
The larger of the two confidently takes a stand and growls using its infrasound to send a vibration, making its combatant uneasy to gain dominance. The T-Rex raises itself to full height to maximize its sheer scale to intimidate the larger Gigantosaurus. The Gigantosaurus, faster than the T-Rex, lunges at the Tyrannosaur, taking a large chunk out of the Tyrant King. The Rex gargles up some blood and shoves off the nimble combatant using its powerful legs before retreating to reevaluate the fight and regain its stamina. The animals stare each other down, locking eyes as they circle around one another. The T-Rex continues to bleed from the wound. The T-Rex, using its thicker muscle, charges at the Challenger, knocking it off balance. They writhe about with the Giganotosaurus using its longer arms to slash and claw at the T-Rex's face. So far, the Giganotosaurus, with its superior speed and scale, looks like it has the advantage. However, the Tyrannosaur uses the sheer mass of its hardened skull to concuss the Giganotosaurus. In a daze, the T-Rex uses its chance to wrap its jaw around the neck of the larger dinosaur, and with its superior bite force, crushes down with enough pressure to bite through a car. The Giganotosaurus thrashes in pain, but with the jaw locked tight, there was no chance of escape. With pressure increasing and bones beginning to crack and separate from the spinal column, the Giganotosaurus suffocates, then loses control of the lower half of its body. The T-Rex loosens its grip, confident on its victory with its combatant almost completely still, bleeding profusely, taking its last breath. The T-Rex remains the Tyrant King. And with the body still fresh, the T-Rex takes a bite out of the corpse to regain its lost energy to fight another day. The Giganotosaurus is certainly a terrifying creature, being one of the largest terrestrial carnivores known to man although this dinosaur is no match for the walking tank that is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. But what do you guys think of this animal? Where does it rank on your list of favorite dinosaurs? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more dinosaur content, then don't forget to leave a like and be sure to subscribe and become a resident of Dangerville today. I've been your host, Alistair, and we'll see you in the next one.